Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos like this on all things business ownership and finance. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I am going to show you how to import banking history into your QuickBooks Online. For a while now, QBO has only been able to import about 90 days worth of transactions from any banking institution. Recently, I've been noticing that more and more of my clients' banks have also been limiting the amount of transactions you can access through the net teller or online banking portals. This becomes an issue if you have a new client or are a new business owner coming to QBO for the first time. Many small businesses, though I frown against this, only do bookkeeping once a year while prepping for taxes. So if you are new to QuickBooks Online, a hobby business, or a bookkeeper taking on a new client, then stay tuned to see how you can simply import all the banking transactions into QBO. So unlike other videos, we are not starting out in QBO. Today we are starting in the online banking of your or a client's bank account. For example, I am using my extra bank account that I use for online purchases only. So please don't try to steal my private information. I believe I did a pretty good job of keeping things secure. Once you are in the online banking, select the account you wish to pull transaction history from. Once in the account, you should see a download transactions link. Some banks have a reports tab, but I find it common to have the link located within the bank account itself. Click the link and select your transactions to be downloaded in a CSV file format and select your time period that you need. Once your CSV file is downloaded, head over to QBO. When logged in, you'll want to head over to the gear icon in the top right of your screen and under tools, select import data. Once in the import screen, you'll select bank data. Under the manually upload your transactions, click the blue select files link and select the file you just downloaded. When it is finished uploading with the green check mark, you may click the green continue button on the bottom right hand side of your screen. Now when you go to your banking tab, your transaction history should populate and you are ready to start categorizing those transactions. For a tutorial on how to categorize transactions and a complete overview of the banking tab, check out the video cards on the top right corner of the screen. And for even more videos and QuickBooks Online tutorials, check out my Accountant View and Business Owner View playlists. And for more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind the scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey. 